Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? And welcome to my channel. Or welcome to my room, actually. The Oscars were last night. Oh yeah, the Oscars, the Oscars. And the last couple years, the Oscars of 2021, which were for the movies in 2020, and the Oscars you know, last year, were, which were for the movies of 2021, the, the ceremony and all of that was, you know, I mean, kind of blah. I mean, Hollywood didn't know what to do. Although last year, there were a lot of slaps. So this year's Oscars, because last year, 2022, the movie theaters finally started getting people back in the seats. And Top Gun Maverick proved people want big screen experiences. And not only that, there were quite a number of original movies. So the Oscars last night, to me, just as an overall awards ceremony entertainment package, was the best Oscars in a very, very, very long time. And yes, Everything Everywhere All at Once was my favorite film of last year. Before all the Oscar buzz happened to it, I went into the movie cold when it came out. I went in cold. I heard about it, and I went in totally cold. Now, it's a movie that's complicated. Some people, you know, there's a slight backlash happening now online. The, the, this movie shouldn't have won. I don't get it. It was stupid and blah, blah, blah. And my wife felt exactly that same way. But amongst my uh, friends, it, it hit us. It, it really hit us. I watched the movie, I went to an AMC, I was a Stubbs A-list member until recently, because I have to support Harkins out here in Arizona, but Stubbs A-list, I went to see it, and it was the first time in a long time that I had an out-of-body experience with a movie. Hadn't happened in a long time. It's like I wasn't aware of being in the auditorium. I wasn't aware of even the other people around me. But everybody who was around me was with the movie. I was very happy that everything, everywhere, all at once won for Best Picture. The Daniels won for Best Director and Best Original Screenplay. Kehi Kwan, I'm very happy for him. I mean, all of the, the roles that we were robbed of from Kehi Kwan. Supporting actress, I could have gone either way because Angela Bassett did do the thing. You know, she did the thing. Angela Bassett did the thing. <laughs> but uh, it's an incredible performance in Wakanda Forever. I mean, forget about it being a Marvel film. For, forget about it being a comic book film. It is a very good performance. But Jamie Lee Curtis was also good. And a friend of mine, he brought that up to me, where he was like, everybody is missing Jamie Lee Curtis and everything, everywhere, all at once. So I was very happy for Jamie Lee Curtis. I could have gone either way on that, uh, Angela or Jamie Lee, you know, and that happens sometime, like in the 2020 Oscars. I would have been happy if 1917 won and Sam Mendes won for Best Director. But I was also very happy that Parasite won and Bong Joon-ho won for Best Director. I was basically undecided which way I wanted to go. But I was happy she won for Best Supporting Actress. Definitely happy for Michelle Yeoh. Much deserved. Uh, very happy uh, for Brendan Fraser. I thought they were going to give it to Austin Butler, but I saw The Whale. I liked The Whale a lot. Darren Aronofsky didn't do his Aronofsky-type touches, if you've seen his movies before. The movie is heartbreaking. The movie is heartbreaking. Very happy Sarah Polly got for, for Best Screenplay Adaptation for Women Talking. If you haven't seen that film yet, I think it's very powerful. A very powerful movie. And I'm glad she won, and I'm glad the Daniels won for Original Screenplay as well. Their second film out. I know there's been some kind of backlash over, you know, it's it's a small but loud minority on the internet. And it's great if you don't like a movie, you know. Not every movie is for everyone. Top Gun Maverick was a great film too. A great theatrical experience. 
And I also had a great theatrical experience with Avatar, The Way of the Water. I liked the Banshees of, you know, um, Inner Sheeran, but I didn't think it was daring as um, um, In Bruges. Same director, same two stars. I thought that was a great film. I thought uh, Banshees was good, but safe. Tar... Tar, just so many good movies were nominated this year. Uh, Tar is a great film. Todd Field, uh, you know, it will. That was a long time coming for him to do this movie. And Kate Blanchett, who actually conducted the orchestra, uh, I have to get that soundtrack album because it's it's sort of a concept album uh, with the way they put it together. Um, All Quiet on the Western front i liked it uh i think it definitely deserves cinematography although tar could have equally beat it for cinematography as well all quiet on the western front i liked it and i'm glad it won for for international film and i think with everything everywhere all at once winning the oscars the way it did we might be seeing a shift here we might be seeing a shift much in the way the 1968 Oscars was kind of controversial with movies like Bonnie and Clyde being nominated and The Graduate being nominated. Yes, In the Heat of the Night did win for Best Picture, but Mike Nichols beat out Norman Jewison for Best Director. But you kind of saw a changing of the guard during that period, and a lot of people were making comments about those films destroying, you know, cinema. One of my favorite films of 89, Do the Right Thing, was not nominated. My other favorite film of that year, Oliver Stone's Born on the Fourth of July, he ended up taking home Best Director. But Driving Miss Daisy still won Best Picture. So, you know, I was there when, you know, films that I felt were safe were winning Oscars. And everything, everywhere, all at once is not safe. I mean, you're either going to love it, you're either going to hate it. And I never thought a film like that would win the Oscars. But I'm happy that it did. I'm happy that it did. Sometimes the Academy gets it right. So I think we're seeing a shift. And I think we're going to be seeing a shift in the movie theaters as well. With much more smaller films... You could have smaller budgeted films that are big in scope, you know, and I hope A24 becomes the new United Artists, even though United Artists is still out there as a name with United Artists releasing. But I really think A24 has the potential of being the next United Artists. So I was, I'm very happy with the Oscar ceremony. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And... You know, as usual, give me some of your thoughts below in the comments there. Let's keep them professional. I know we're not going to agree on on everything here as far as this, but give me some of your thoughts. But I, for one, am happy, and now I am going to watch my 4K UHD disc of Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. (laughs) Talk to you soon.